Spectacular views and abundant powdery snow in the French Alpine resort of Flen, but few visitors or skiers to enjoy either. The French government's decision to keep lifts closed across the country until at least the end of February because of Covid has dealt a crushing blow to the winter tourist industry and its workers. Frédéric Gasnier has relied on the ski season in Flen for work for nearly two decades. This year he was supposed to operate a lift. Instead, he's unemployed. We just don't understand at all. Resorts have put in place special sanitary measures against Covid so that people can come, but we're told we have to stay shut. Financially, it's catastrophic for all the workers. The government says that opening lifts would encourage crowds at a time when cases of the more contagious Covid strains are rising. But without lifts, skiing is out of the question for most. Only the very determined hike up for a downhill run. The alpine ski industry is the backbone of our winter economy. It's hard for us to survive without the lifts and the economy linked to them. Of course, we have other sports like cross-country skiing and sledging, but 90% of our February income is from skiing. Without it, we'll make half that. This would normally be peak season here in Flen. The resort would be packed with tourists, many from abroad, and these slopes would be busy with skiers and snowboarders. Instead, it feels eerily empty. On the main square, restaurants and bars are shut under COVID restrictions. This hotel is one of the only ones open, but the manager wonders for how long, as the government is considering a third full lockdown. Nous, on a juste besoin d'avoir des réponses. We just need answers, precise deadlines so we can organise, because we have 30 seasonal workers here and we want to know if we'll have enough work for them until the end of the season. We're not complaining about the government's decision, but we need to be able to plan. Months of uncertainty, little business and a looming lockdown. People here say resorts like Flen will need government aid to survive. Without it, tens of thousands of workers will be left out in the cold. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Flen.